Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Residence list items by ID widget. The widget can be used on pages created with Elementor and on pages created with VP Bakery plugin. Next I will show the steps that you need to take to create a section that will display properties using the VP Residence list by ID widget. First I will show for an Elementor page. This is a page created with Elementor. The first step is to click edit with Elementor. I have already made the section where this widget will be displayed. I will add it here. I will choose the widget from this list. This is the one. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. And now I will start making settings. You can add a title. The title will show first. Next you will have the option to select the type of elements that will be displayed. You can choose between properties and articles. First I will show the options available for properties. And here you will need to manually add the IDs of the properties that you want to display in the page. The IDs can be taken from admin. You will need to go to properties. And this is the ID that you will need to copy in the widget. I will copy this one. I will go back to the Elementor editor. I will add it here. The property shows now. And you can add more IDs separated by a comma. I will go back to admin. I will copy this ID as well. The next property shows. I will create a section with six properties. So I will need to add the six IDs of the properties that I want to display on front end. I have added the six IDs. Next, I will need to set the number of items that will show in the section. I will set six so I can display all the six properties that I added here. And next, I will set the number of items per row. Here, I will add three. And now I can see the six properties that I set to show. For the next option, you will have the option to filter the properties by featured status. I will leave the show featured listings only option to know. Next, you will be able to change the type of alignment. This is vertical. You can set horizontal as well. This is the horizontal type of alignment. I will switch it back vertical and here you can add a link of, of a larger list of properties or any link that you want. I will add here the link of a properties list. This is the page. I will copy the link and add it here. Now you will have this button and if the user will press it he will be redirected to the link that is added here. I am done with the settings for the VP residence list items by ID. I will update the changes made and on front end this is the section that I just created. If I press more listing button I will be redirected to the properties list link that I added in the widget. I will go back to the Elementor editor. These are the settings for properties. Next, I will show the settings available for articles. I will remove the properties IDs and I will go back to admin to copy the articles IDs and add them in the widget. You will find the articles under posts and you will find the IDs here. I will copy three IDs. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. For articles, you will be able to set the number of items. I will change it to three. The number of items per row, you will be able to change the type of alignment and add a link to global listing. I will remove this and instead I will add the link of a page with a list of blog posts. This is the page. I will copy the link and add it here. I will remove this title and I am done with the settings for articles. I will update the changes made. This is how the section will show on front end. If I click more articles, I will be redirected to the blog list link that I added in the widget. These are the settings that need to be done for Elementor pages. Next, I will show the settings that you need to make for a page created with VP Bakery. The first step is to edit the page. I will add the element here. I will click the plus button. This is the element that you need to select, list items by ID. You will have the same options available. Here you will be able to add a title. In what type of items you will be able to choose between properties, articles or agents. Here you will need to add the items IDs. 
you will be able to set the number of items, the number of items per row, the type of alignment, vertical or horizontal, and here you will be able to add the link to another page. I will show how this works for properties. Here you will need to add IDs from admin properties. You will need to add IDs from here. I added six IDs. I will set the number of items to be six. I will set the number of items per row to be three. I will leave this empty and I will save changes. I will update the page. And this is how the section will show on front end. Since the settings are exactly the same, I will just show properties. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.